there everyone, welcome back to Toasty TCG. So, this format, I have chosen to play Dragon Link, and I've been having a lot of success with it at Locals. So today, I just wanted to go over a deck profile with you guys, discussing the cards in it, the combos, the interactions, and typically in my deck profiles, I go by monster, spell, and trap lineup. But I'm going to be doing this video a little bit differently, discussing what role each card plays in the deck rather than what type of card they are and just grouping those together. So to start off I want to talk about our one card starters. That would be things like Star Leech Safer. This is a card that you need to play at three of because when you summon it you can tribute it to search another dragon which is typically your white dragon wyvern burster or black dragon collapse serpent and if it's your first play you're typically going to search your black Dragon, because you can banish the safer, summon the black dragon, then you can link your black dragon into a striker dragon, get two searches, one being white dragon, which means you're going to get to Romulus, and from there you can just go ill into your combo. So this one card does all of that by itself, it gets you the one card starter and goes into your full combo by getting you to two dragons. And then keep in mind it also has the effect in Grave where you can banish it to take a level 8 light or dark dragon and put it in your hand, which is actually pretty helpful, it'll come up. Next up is another one card starter, Black Metal Dragon. So Black Metal Dragon, the reason that this is a one card starter is because you can normal summon it to make your striker dragon, and then use Black Metal Dragon to search Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon, you can banish the striker dragon, bring back Black Metal Dragon, and then get to your Romulus, which of course means you're going to your full combo. But that's about it for Black Metal Dragon. It's one card combo, it doesn't do much else unlike Star Leech, but it's still a one card combo, which is why we play it at 3. Next up, this is more of a 1.5 card combo that is Chaos Space. This just sends a light or dark monster from your hand to the grave to search the opposite attribute, which typically means if you discard a light, you're going to search your Black Dragon Collapse Serpent, you discard a Dark, you're going to search your White Dragon Wyvern Burster, and then you can summon whichever one you search, make your Striker Dragon, search the other one, and then you can summon that one, use Chaos Space's second effect, which will take the monster you banished, put it to the bottom of your deck, draw you a card, and then you can link your White Dragon or Black Dragon with your Striker Dragon to get to your Romulus. And then keep in mind, because you used your white dragon or black dragon, you get to search the one that you just put to the bottom of your deck. So this card is very powerful, it's a 1 card combo, or 1.5 card combo, and then also draws you a card later on. Up next is our rocket engine. This is going to consist of rocket tracer, and then two level 4 rocket monsters, rocket recharger, and silver rocket. So rocket tracer, is very helpful at every point in your combo because you can summon any dragon to make your striker dragon and then search your field spell and then you can activate your field spell if you really need to to summon any of these five monsters and get to your Romulus. But keep in mind that Rocket Tracer is pretty much your best one. It gets you either bees, it's also a tuner. It's overall just the best one, that's why we play it at three, so it's not terrible to see. And these are pretty much just all 1.5 card combos, because like I mentioned before, if you search open any other dragon monster, you can normal summon, you can make your striker dragon to you search your field spell, and then your field spell can summon any of these if you open them in your hand. So that's why we play 3 Tracer, just because it's the best rocket. And then you can actually play any level 4 rockets, you can also play the Magnum rocket I believe it's called. But Rocket Recharger just has a very helpful effect where you can use Striker Dragon's second effect where it destroys itself and adds Rocket Recharger back to your hand. And then you can activate your Rocket Recharger to discard itself and special summon a Dark Dragon from your graveyard. So this is a really neat interaction. Sometimes it comes up, but not too often. It's still very important. It's a very unique effect. And you should make sure you're playing at least one Rocket Recharger. And then just one, any other level 4 rocket. The reason that you don't want to play anything else is simply because level 4 is going to work best with your tuner, rocket recharger, to make your level 8 or load savage. No other level is going to be that helpful. 
and we also don't play the Rocket Synchron. That card just seems very dead weight, very extra, and just, just unnecessary, especially when you already have four, or not four, three Tuner Rocket Monsters already. So that about wraps up our 1.5 and 1 card combos. Next up I want to talk about my extenders, starting with Noctovision Dragon. This monster, if you special summon a Dark Dragon, lets you summon it from your hand to the board. And then if it's linked or away, you says link material, you get to draw a card. So typically what you want to do is summon your Striker Dragon and then Chain Link 1, have Striker Dragon's effect to search the field spell and chain link to Noctovision to summon itself. And then when you link these two away, for your Romulus, you can have chain link one Romulus to search, chain link to Noctovision to draw you an extra card. It also has a really interesting effect where if it's in your graveyard, I believe, and a set card you control is targeted by a card effect, you can banish it to negate and destroy that effect. It really doesn't come up, but it's just something interesting to keep in mind. Next up, our 1 for 1. This card is just discard a monster card to summon our Black Metal Dragon. And like we've already discussed before, once you summon your Black Metal Dragon, you have a full combo ready to go. Then Monster Reborn, just an additional extender. If you open this plus any dragon, you can have full combo. Then we also have Quick Launch, which gets you to your 1.5 card combo, puts it on the board. And it's just an extender at any point. And then World Legacy Guard Dragon, just three more monster reborns essentially. And then it can also move a monster on your side of the field, meaning you can move your Guard Dragon LP or Guard Dragon Pisty to a more preferable zone. Up next, these are cards that you more or less don't want to open, they're more engine pieces for the deck. So to start off is our three Romulus parts. One is Dragoonity Divine Lance. This card you simply equip to your Dragoonity Romulus. And then while this card is equipped, you get to equip a Dragoonity from your deck, which will be Dragoonity Phalanx. And Phalanx, of course, says when it's equipped, you get to special summon it. Next up is Dragoonity Ravine. This is kind of a card that you don't want to search too often. But in the event that you open your Dragoonity Phalanx or you open your Divine Lance, you still have the option of searching your Dragoonity Ravine, which allows you to discard a card and send a dragon from your deck to your grave, that card usually being your Apps Router. And then next up for our dragons are going to be the White Dragon and the Black Dragon. As I've discussed before, once you can get these cards to your hand by a card effect, these cards are just full combo, you summon one, you link it away, and then you search the other card, and using this one you can get to your link two. Then next up is simply Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Once you link away your Black Metal Dragon, you search this, and this is another way to get to your full combo. Up next is a card that you can summon off of your Guard Dragon LP, it is Omni Dragon Brotar. Simply, you summon it, you target itself with its own effect, which simply says, once it's targeted, you discard a card from your hand, and then you get to search a monster with the same type or attribute, which means we get to search our Chaos Dragon Levianir. Chaos Dragon Levianir is a very versatile card that you can use going first or second. Going first, you get to banish three dark monsters from your grave to summon it, and when summoned by banishing those three dark monsters, you get to shuffle a random card in your opponent's hand back into their deck, or you can banish up to three monsters that are a combination of light and dark to summon it, and when you do that, you get to destroy two cards on the field. It can be on either side of the field, but more or less you just want to destroy two cards on your opponent's side of the field, I don't see any reason why you would want to destroy your own cards. And it's just simply a very versatile card. As I mentioned previously with Safer, you can add it back to your hand by banishing the Safer. And that means if they play through your board, you can put Safer back in your hand. You can use Safer to put this back in your hand. And then you can summon your, your Chaos Dragon Levianir to pop two more cards. 
So you have a way of recurring this card back over and over again, so even if they're able to play through your board, you're simply able to keep pushing and breaking back and fighting back against them. And then next up is our Halka Fibrax cards. We have Red Rose Dragon and the Vylon Cube. These cards are good for their own individual reasons. So in the event that you hit your one card combo and you have an extra extenders in your hand, you want to go for your Vylon Cube. Because Vylon Cube, once it's used as synchro material for a light monster, can search any equip spell from your deck, meaning you can search the smoke grenade of the thief, which is something I'll discuss later on. However, if you don't have that additional extender in your hand, you want to go for the Red Rose Dragon, because when it's used as synchro material, you get to replace it with a White Rose Dragon. And keep in mind, there are times where you might open the Red Rose Dragon, or you might open the White Rose Dragon, and you still need that additional extender. You can still use Vylon Cube to search Living Fossil. This equip spell just targets any level 4 in your grave and special summons it, but its effects are negated, its attack and defense are both set to 0, and when it leaves the field, it's banished. But we don't really care about all that, we just want to get the additional extender sometimes, and in events where you have that White Rose Dragon stuck in your hand and the Red Rose Dragon is dead, you're going to still need that extra extender. And then up next, we have the Dragon Buster Destruction Sword. This card is just our target for Union Carrier. You equip it to any dragon or dark monster, and now your opponent is locked out of the extra deck. And it's not even the worst card to open either, because it's a dragon and a tuner. And then finally, we have Absarouder Dragon and our Boot Sector Launch. This card we search off of our field spell, off our Striker Dragon. And then Absarouder, we typically want to send to the grave, but if we open it, it's not that bad either. So with Boot Sector Launch, you have the option of either summoning up to two rockets from your hand, or you can summon rockets from your graveyard up to the number of monsters on your opponent's side of the field. So this card can be used as a starter, and it can also be used after your board gets broken to get monsters back on the field. So it's a very helpful card, it's very versatile, allows you to do two very helpful effects. And then Absarouder, of course, if you control a rocket monster, you get to special summon it to your board from your hand. And any time that goes to the grave from anywhere, you can search a rocket monster. Typically, you want to search your rocket tracer. And now finally for our hand trap lineup, we have three Nibiru. Of course, this is the card of the format if your opponent is playing combo, which they typically are, considering that two of the three viable decks for this format are very combo heavy. You get to stop them in their tracks, and if they don't have two extra extenders, their turn pretty much ends. And then you've got Triple Infinite Impermanence. This is the only effect negation card that I really want to play as a hand trap. I feel like things like Ash Blossom and Effect Failure are just very unimpactful right now, versus Infinite Impermanence, which is just, it just feels like a better card, because if your opponent is playing Triple Attack with Talents, then you Infinite Impermanence something, and their Talents isn't live, versus Ash Blossom and Valor, where it might seem like it does the same thing, but it actually opens you up to a little more problems due to Triple Tactics Talents. And then finally, we have the best hand trap in the game right now, the Cyframe Gamma Driver Package. This card negates and destroys, very simple. Going second, you always want to have this card in your hand, this format, simply because negating isn't enough right now. You also need removal, and then you also get to, of course, summon a free monster out of your, your deck, so you get to free deck then. But keep in mind that there are situations where you can open hands where you open your driver, it is a garnet, or you can open like multiple gammas, which isn't very likely, but it can still happen. So there are like risks, rewards to this. I typically like to side this stuff going first. I take this stuff out, but whenever I go second or game one, this card is definitely in there. Next up, we're going to talk about the side deck. In the side deck, we've of course got our Synchro Package, that being Martial Metal Marcher, Herald of the Arclight, and Borlode Savage Dragon. This being our big boss monster that negates anything, this being a little monster, it's also Macrocosmos that negates anything, 
and our Metal Marcher that helps us complete our combo. Okay, so that's for our Synchro lineup. Next up is our Link Monster, starting off with Double Striker Dragon. The reason that you want to play two is this one's going to search your field spell. This one you're actually going to summon later in your combo. You're going to help provide LP with two zones that your Link Monster points to, because this one has that left pointing arrow. So you're going to want to actually have that extra left pointing arrow. And then speaking of Guard Dragons, we have Guard Dragon LP, Guard Dragon Pisty. Guard Dragon LP, of course, gets so much many cards from your deck to the board, such as your Absorouter and your Brotar. So this card is just so good. I expect this card to be banned in December. And then Pisty is a card that you don't always go into, but it's very helpful in situations where you have weird hands. You can also use LP to summon your Brotar, get Brotar's effect, and then link the Brotar away for your Pisty. And then once you do that, you can just make room on your board to make the Pisty live and get something back like your Rocket Tracer. And then, of course, you have the Helka Fibrax and your Link Ross, as well as your Romulus. These are the big three cards in the deck. Your Helka Fibrax gets you to a monster that leads into more extensions. Your Romulus gets you into your tuner. And of course, your Link Ross just makes you extra tokens to synchro away with. Now we have our remaining cards. First off, we have our Protector Well. This monster is just a generic Link 2 dragon monster, so it lets you clear the guard dragons off your field, and also if you don't want to go into things such as your Heratic Sphere yet, you can just make this. And it also has two very helpful arrows, both pointing diagonal left, diagonal right. Then you've got your Delindrous Dragon. This monster is actually really cool. It is two Dark Dragon monsters, but when a Rocket monster is summoned, you get to special summon this from your grave. It's banishment leaves the field, however. So it goes from just being a card that can clear Guard Dragons off your field to also leading into an Extender. So that way when you activate Boot Sector and summon Rocket Tracer from your hand, you can get this back and you can link it away with something. Another dragon for, say, your Union Carrier. Union Carrier, of course, being two monsters with the same type or attribute. And then once you have your Union Carrier on the board, you can equip your Dragon Buster Destruction Whelp from your deck to any dragon or dark monster that you want. And speaking of Heratic Sphere, you've got Heratic Sphere. This monster, of course, you can tribute it to target a face-up card and return it to the owner's hand. And then once it's tributed, you get to special summon a dragon from your deck, and its attack and defense both become zero. The monster that you typically want to summon is either your Black Metal Dragon, so you can link it away next turn and get the effect of your Black Metal Dragon to add Red Eyes, or you can summon your Omni Dragon Brotar, targeting itself to add Levy Near from your deck to your hand, giving you a follow-up play on your next turn, so you can summon your Levy Near, hop to your opponent's monsters, and then you can just keep playing from there. This card's very versatile as well, as pretty much every other card that I talked about previously that's very versatile. It just gives you a lot of different options and a lot of different plays, as well as a one-card spot removal. And then finally is our Go Second Kill option, the Big Oral Sword Dragon. This card, of course, being an OTK from the extra deck, you do your whole combo, and then you can link things like Halka Firebrax and two Guard Dragons to make this, and then from there you simply just kill your opponent. And then finally for the side deck, if you haven't guessed it already, of course we are playing Drool and Lockbird. This card is super powerful in the mirror match as well as against Dinos. Your opponent gets one search and then you drop this, and now they're locked out of the rest, the rest of their deck for the rest of the turn. And then a Dino Wrestler Pankratops. This card is the only card that I'm playing in my side deck that I can't use on my opponent's turn simply because I feel if you play anything in your side deck against combos that can't be used right away, they're simply going to look in your hand and take it out. So for that reason, I'm not playing things like Dark Roar No More, I'm not playing Forbidden Droplets, nothing like that. This is simply the best option, because if you do have it, you can special summon, attack over something, and then you get to destroy something else as well. 
it forces out a lot of things to happen. Your opponent has to do waste, probably they have to waste, say, their Paradox Sphere, and then they have to waste a, a Negate to stop this thing. It's just a very, very powerful and clear sports all on its own. Next up, we've got our spell lineup. So starting off, we have two triple tactic talents. So as I mentioned before, whenever I go first, I like to side out my gamma package. These are two cards that will always go in if I am going first. The reason being is if I get hand trapped, I have a way of disrupting my opponent in response. Or if they stop my only play, I can just draw two cards. This card's very versatile, it gives you a lot of different options. So I would actually play this card at 3, but I actually don't have the third copy. This card's really great, and I highly recommend it. Then for our anti-back row decks, we've got Red Reboot, Triple Lightning Storm, and a Feather Duster. These all, of course, just destroy back row, minus the Reboot, which just straight up stops back row from being used. All very good cards, but this is all that we need. We don't need Twin Twisters, we don't need Cosmic Cyclone. We have four that are just straight back row destruction, and then one that will just turn off back row for the whole turn. Letting us, of course, probably go to our Boral Sword and kill the opponent. And then we've got some more go first cards. So as I mentioned already, you side out things like the Gamma Package. Side in things like Imperial Order. This is just a very sacky card if you side in going first. All three decks in the current meta play a good amount of spell cards, so when you flip this, you're disrupting a good amount of extenders, a good amount of plays. It is very powerful, also against rogue decks, of course. Anytime that I'm gonna go first and I side out Gamma, this goes in against just about everything. And then speaking of going first, we have a pointer of the Red Lotus. This card is also really great, so as you may have noticed by now, this deck has a lot of ways of taking cards out of the opponent's hand already. This is just one more way of doing that when you go first, but you'll of course only want to side it in when you go first. And then keep in mind that there are still people that are siding those things, like Dark Rover No More, Forbidden Droplets, things like that. You can use a Pointer of Red Lotus to take those cards out of your opponent's hand, and now they don't have a way to disrupt your full combo board. And then also keep in mind that if they don't have any of that, you can simply take a starter out of their hand and now they have no way of playing, they pass their turn, and of course you just kill them on the next turn. Alright, so that's gonna wrap up the build, let's get into the actual combos. Okay, so to start off this combo tutorial, I'm going to be discussing a one card combo. And then I'm going to do a one card combo plus the extender, and then finally the one card combo plus two extenders. So to start off, we're going to summon our Black Metal Dragon and use it as a Link 1 material. So we're going to summon our Striker Dragon, and now because Black Metal Dragon went to a grave, you can make it Chain Link 1, or you can make Striker Dragon Chain Link 1, and then Chain Link 2 for the other. So Striker Dragon will search the Field Spell, Black Metal Dragon will search Red Eyes Darkness Metal Dragon. Search those. Second launch. Yeah, red eyes, darkest metal dragon. Okay. So next up, we are going to banish the striker dragon to special summon the red eyes, darkest metal dragon. Then we're going to activate the effect of red eyes, darkest metal dragon, special summoning the black metal dragon. From here, we're going to go into a link to using those two, of course, for our Dragoonity Knight Romulus. Romulus effect is going to activate, allowing us to add a Dragoonity spell card from the hand, or you can add Dragon Ravine, but typically, in most cases, you're just going to want to search for Divine Lance. Then, of course, you put the Divine Lance to the Romulus, activating the effect of Divine Lance, equipping a Dragoonity Phalanx. Next up, go and activate the effect of the Boomy Phalanx, summoning it to either zone that it points to, it doesn't really matter. You can actually summon it anywhere, but typically you just want to keep it in this general area. You don't want to put your stuff like all over the board, because then if you start summoning things, you might accidentally summon things in the wrong spots, and then you can just mess up your whole combo from there. So typically what I do is just put my dragons that I need 
in specific spots. I always keep them over here, so if I know that it's something I'm going to turn into a guard dragon later on, I have that spot kind of like on hold. Next up, we're going to make a link one using the Romulus. This, of course, is going to be for Link Ross. And you're going to, of course, activate the effect of Link Ross, getting two level one tokens. And again, we're going to put them on the far side of the board because they're not going to be used as Guard Dragon material. They don't really need a specific spot. So I'm just going to put them on the far side of the board so they don't, like, cluster up my board. Next up, we're going to take the level two Dragoon Failings Tuner and one of our level one tokens and make a Martial Metal Marcher. Let's put it right where the token used to be. And then Martial Metal Marcher's effect will activate, getting back the Dragoon Phalanx back to a zone that a Guard Dragon is going to occupy later on. Then we're going to take our Martial Metal Marcher, which is a tuner with our Link Ross, and Link 2 for Halka Fibrax. Then we're going to get Halka Fibrax's effect. And that, of course, will summon a level 3 or lower tuner, so we're going to summon our Red Rose Dragon. Next up, tune the Red Rose Dragon with a level 1 token. And that's going to get us our Herald of the Arc Light. Now, because Red Rose Dragon is used as Synchro material, we get to summon a Rose Dragon from our deck. Then we're going to summon our White Rose Dragon. And now we have two level 4 or lower dragon monsters on the field, so we're going to link one with each of them. That's going to let us summon our Guard Dragon LP and our Striker Dragon. Now we're going to do the effect of Guard Dragon LP and summon an Absorouder Dragon. Absorouder Dragon right there. Now we're going to use the Huck Fibrax and the Striker Dragon to link two again. And we're going to make the Protector Whelp of the Destruction Swordsman. This is simply just to clear up space on the board. And then we're going to take these two and we're going to link two again. Now we're going to make a Dolindrous Dragon. And you get the effect of Abstrouder Dragon since it went to the grave. You get to search a Rocket Monster. So we are going to search our Rocket Tracer and add that to our hand with the Boot Sector launch. Next up, you're going to take the Dolindrous, and now you can link it with the Protector Whelp, and you can link two for either your Union Carrier or your Heratic Spheres. It's really up to you which one you feel you want to summon. In the case of playing against a deck with no extra deck, you're of course going to make this, but if you know what you're playing against, you can still make your Union Carrier, and in most cases, if you see they have an extra deck, the Union Carrier might be the way to go. It's really preference, whichever one you decide to go with. Next up, we're going to activate our field spell and use its effect to summon up to two rockets from our hand. So we summon the Rocket Tracer. Rocket Tracer will pop the field spell. Alternatively, you can activate your Delindris in Graveyard to summon it, and then Rocket Tracer can pop the Delindris, banishing it from the, the grave. Or from the grave. <laughs> and to banish the Delindris once it leaves the board if you do go with that route. Now you can summon either rocket, whichever one you want, it doesn't matter too much. And then you can go for a level 8 synchro, of course being savage, activating savage's effect, equipping your Galindris if you didn't summon it from its effect, and then if you did, you can summon your Halka Fibrax. Next up, if you went with the Union Carrier, the Union Carrier can target your savage, and that can equip the Destruction Sword to Savage. So that's all off of one card. Everything else can be just anything. It can be just like three hand traps, it can be extra extenders, it can be a bunch of different things. And speaking of extenders, let's get into this second combo where I'm going to be doing the one card combo, but with an extra extender. Okay, so in this version of the combo, of course, we're going to have the Black Metal Dragon, but this time we can have any other extender. So as I discussed in the deck profile, you have your Quick Launch, you have World Legacy Guard Dragon, Monster Reborn, you have a lot of different options, so we're just going to go with Quick Launch. So again, we're going to of course summon our Black Mill Dragon, link that away, and get your Striker Dragon, 
I have Chain Link 1, Striker Dragon, Chain Link 2, Black Metal Dragon, adding your Red Eyes, Darkest Metal Dragon, and then adding your Loop Sector Launch. And of course, you will banish the Striker Dragon for your Red Eyes, Darkest Metal Dragon. Use that, get that Black Metal, and then you're going to use those as Link 2 material, and you summon your Community Knight Romulus. Romulus Effect will activate it and you're going to get your Pine Lance. So, so far it's all the same combo, but we're almost at the point where you diverge just a little bit. Now you're going to use your Divine Lance and summon the Dragoonity Phalanx. Or equip the Phalanx. Then you can use the effect to summon the Phalanx and link one to your Link Ross. Once again, you get the effect of your Linkross, the tokens, and then you tune the Phalanx with one of your tokens. Then you get your Metal Marcher. Metal Marcher, get back your Phalanx, and then you're going to take these, and then you're going to make a Fibrax. Fibrax is not in the main deck. Summon Hulk Fibrax. You get the effect of your Hulk Fibrax to summon your level 3 tuner. This time though, this is where we're going to start to diverge. So instead of going for a Red Rose Dragon, this is where you are actually going to summon your Vylon Cube. Then you're going to tune the Vylon Cube with your level 1 token, and you're going to make your Herald of the Arc Light again. Now because you use the Vylon Cube for a Light Synchro Monster, you get to search and equip spell. So we're going to search the Smoke Grenade of the Thief. This is where your Extra Extender comes up now, so let's activate Quick Launch and get a Rocket from our deck. Typically I just go for Rocket Tracer because I play three copies of it, so I'm never worried that I'm not going to have the Tracer. Next up, we're going to Link 1. Link 1. Link our typical board of LP Striker. Now you can activate the effect of your LP. And let's summon out. You can really just summon it. Because you already have the Rocket Tracer in the grave. So you actually don't really need to go for apps around it. So we're going to actually summon Star Leech Saber. Now we're going to go for another Link 2. Buster Welt. And then you just use the Star Leech Safer and summon your Pisty for this example. In the case that you don't have Quick Launch, you can just, and say you're extend or something like Monster Reborn, you can summon back your Dragon and then you can just do the regular version of the first combo I showed you. So you'd be summoning your Abstrouder off LP and then linking away into this. And then you'd link the Abstrouder and the LP into your Delindris like I did in the first combo. But in this version, we're just doing things a little bit different, just because we have the Tracer already. So then Pisty can summon back the Rocket Tracer. And now you can take the Delindris, or you can take the Pisty and the LP, and you can make a Delindris. And you make your Delindris. And then, once again, you can take these. You can make either Spheres, or you can make your Hero Union Carrier, whichever one you prefer. And now you equip Rocket Tracer with your... Smoke Grenade of the Thief, you use Rocket Tracer to destroy the Smoke Grenade of the Thief to summon a rocket from your deck. And keep in mind, if you don't have the Rocket Tracer in the grave and you have to go for the Apps Router, this will be the point where you activate the Boot Sector so you can summon the Rocket Tracer from your hand. Now, because the Smoke Grenade of the Thief was destroyed, it has a mandatory effect to look at your opponent's hand and discard a card from it. So you get to take a card out of your hand, opponent's hand, and you also know everything in their hand minus one random card from their draw phase. Now of course you're going to Synchro Summon, and you summon your Borloid Savage Dragon. You put the Borloid Savage with your Belindris or your Fibrax. Then you can use the Union Carrier to equip Savage with the Destruction Sword. So that's it for the two-card combo. 
So in this version, we discarded the card from our opponent's hand, and if it was a monster, it gets banished because of Herald of the Arclight. Now, finally, I'm going to show you the three-card version of this deck. Alright, so in this version of the combo, like I've already mentioned, this is going to be a three-card combo, just our one-card starter and two extra extenders. You're going to summon your Black Metal Dragon, going to link one from your Striker Dragon. And then you're going to have Chain Link 1, Chain Link 2, whichever way you want to have it in order. Root Sector, the Black Dragon. Banish the Striker, the Red Eyes, Red Eyes get back Black Metal, and Link 2 for the Romulus. And of course you're going to get the effect of Romulus to add the Divine Lance. Put the Divine Lance, and then get the effect of the Divine Lance to summon the Dragoon Phalanx. Get the effect of Dragoon Phalanx to summon itself, and Link 1. Now, of course, if you've been following along, you know what happens next. We summon a Link Ross and get two level 1 tokens. One of which will be used as synchro material with Phalanx for our Martial Metal Marcher. And then we get the effect of Martial Metal Marcher, getting back our Dragoon Phalanx. Next up, we're going to make our Alpha Fibrax again using the 1 tuner, the non tuner. And get the effect of our Alpha Fibrax. So the Health Firebrax, as last time, we're going to summon a Vylon Cube. And use the cube and a level 1. And make Herald of the Arc Light. Then because you used a Vylon Cube for a light synchro monster, you get to search your equip spell. Now things are still looking a little like the first combo we did. We're going to do a quick launch. Rocket Tracer, and then you have your two Link 1 material on the board, so let's put those away. LP, Striker Dragon. And then we're going to use LP to summon our Omni Dragon Verota. Rotar. Rotar can target itself. So you can discard anything out of your hand besides these, and keep in mind you have the arc light on the field, so it can't be a monster, so you can discard any spell, any trap, and target itself or any other dark dragon on the field. And now you get to search your Chaos Dragon Levian. Levian near to your hand. And we're going to turn the Omni Dragon Rotar into a Guard Dragon Pisty. Let's get linking with these guys. And link to for the Buster Welt. Now we're going to link to again. For the Belindris. Oh, we actually skipped a step here. We actually skipped a step. We're going to have to rewind a little bit here. So, before you make the Delindris, I'm sure you guys already caught it. You have to activate the effect of your Guard Dragon Pistol. Come back to your Rocket Tracer. And now you make your Delindris. That's my mistake. You make your Delindris. Now you can take these two. And you can make a... Either one. So we're actually... Let's go with our Union Carrier. Now you've got quite a lot of cards here still. So, we're going to use the Chaos Dragon Levian here. I'm going to banish Pisty, LP, and Striker Dragon. So, now you get to take a card out of your opponent's hand. And then you're going to do Monster Reborn. Getting back just about any dragon. So instead of making Union Carrier first, don't make this very, very common mistake. Make sure you make your Spheres here, because you can't use Spheres effect if it's in the main monster zones. 
So make sure you go for spheres in the extra monster zone and not in the main monster zone like I was about to do. You can take your two dragons, make your Union Carrier in the main monster zone where it can activate and spheres cannot, and then you equip your smoke grenade to anything. You use Tracer to pop your smoke grenade. You summon your recharger. Now, in a different scenario, keep in mind you have your Delindris in the grave, so if you needed to use the field spell to summon your rocket tracer, you have the Delindris to summon. So instead of using Monster Reborn to get your two material for your Union Carrier, you can use your Levianir and your Delindris for your Union Carrier. So that's something very important to keep in mind. Whereas, if you go with Rocket Tracer and you pop the Smoke Grenade to special summon the Rocket Charger, you can still summon the Lindris, only it'll be too late to make either of these. Because Rocket Recharger locks you into Dark Monsters after using its effect. Now, anyway, we popped the Smoke Grenade and got our Rocket Recharger. So now we look at our opponent's hand and take another card out of it. And then you can make your Savage, and use your Union Carrier. So this is what the full board looks like. You just took two cards out of your opponent's hand, you know your opponent's hand, you have two negates, one card to just send a face-up card on the field back into the deck, and then of course you can just summon something like, say, your Star Leech Safer, and once your safer goes to the grave, you have a way of getting Levianir back to your hand to blow cards in your opponent's field. It's a very powerful board and has a very strong follow-up in the event that your opponent is able to play through it. But keep in mind, they're also locked out of the extra deck. And you just have two cards that negate anything, and knowing where your opponent's, where your opponent's hand is, you're able to make very good decisions on what to negate. So that's what the full combo looks like. There's a lot of different ways to get to this route. This is just one example of what the full combo is. There's a lot of different ways to make this combo, and it's just a very powerful board, which is why Dragon Link is the best deck of the format. But guys, that about wraps up this video for today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned something new about this deck. If you did, let me know in the comments below. If you actually have any suggestions for this deck profile, or any questions, anything, of course comment that down below. And while you're down there, check in the description where you can find all of the Toasty TCG social media, such as the Facebook page, the Discord, and our TCG Player affiliate link. So anytime that you purchase cards that you're already going to buy, you use our link, and it helps the channel directly to no additional cost of your own. So once again, I hope you enjoyed the video. This is going to be Toasty TCG signing out.